What's up, YouTube? It's the real Cobra Burnout. Thanks for joining me back at my channel. And, uh, yeah, you're down here in my steak pit. <laughs> All right, I got three sentimental blades to show you. Three. Why am I doing this? I was tagged by the fat man. <laughs> so I got a bayonet and a, a couple of swords. That's how I'm going to do this because I really don't have any sentimental pocket knives. I have some old ones, I just don't know where they came from when I got them. Alright, first up, a legit M5 bayonet. And this sucker saw action in the Korean War. Maybe. <laughs> but it is what they would have had uh, on the M1 uh, Garand. It is legit. All the markings are right. It has the Imperial marking. I have a legit scabbard. It is a little cracked up right there. And I did a, a complete vid on this about three years ago, and it's actually a pretty good vid. So I'll link that up there if you want to know more about this bayonet. But just in a nutshell, why is it sentimental? Well, I was visiting my grandmother when I got it, and uh, you know, one of those stay of the week during the summer. She she lived in Central Texas on a lake lot at the time, and uh, you know, with her husband at the time, Raymond, and there was a flea market there. Picked it up there. You know, in my original vid, I thought I was about 14 years old. I think I was actually probably closer to 12, just thinking back on it. And uh, so somewhere in that range, but probably too young to have a, a bayonet. I don't know. Things were different back then, right? But this thing disappeared from my life for a while. There's the backstory on it. It disappeared for a long time. Why? My mother had found it in my closet. She didn't know I bought it when I was on that trip and took it away because she thought I was too young, stashed it. I thought it was gone forever, actually. And about, probably about four years ago, give or take, you know, I was visiting my parents and uh, dad had this in his safe. You know, we're looking at something else and he has a safe. He's like, I don't know where I got this thing. It's probably such and such. And I'm like, that's mine. <laughs> Told him the full story and he didn't remember any of it. My mom probably just went and stashed it, you know. And uh, so he gave it, to, gave it back to me. And uh, so I finally got it back. <laughs> finally proved, you know, I got responsible enough to have this bayonet. Now I just need the, the rifle. All right, next up, I don't want to make this too long, sword time. There's the scabbard. Thank you, Heater, for coming on right there in this vid. But this is not, probably nothing real special as far as a sword goes. It does have some... It's hard, kind of hard to see in the lighting. It has some little etch work on there. But the reason why I say it's nothing real special as far as value is, look at that. It says, it's hard to make out. It says made in India. And just the way that's etched on there, that leads me to believe this is a straight up souvenir piece that someone would have got. Maybe they got it from India, you know. The metal is pretty good. It's, it's not marked anywhere that I could see. All kinds of noises. Sorry about all the noises, background noises. Uh, why is it sentimental? Well, because my mom got it for me. She just randomly picked it up at uh, one of those antique resale stores. I don't know how much she paid for it. Uh, and just gave it to me. I was living on, I think it might have been the first, second year I was living out on my own. She knew I, I liked stuff like this. And uh, so that's the cinema value because mom got it for me. And uh, yeah leads me to the other one and this is nothing special either so it's not even like a value thing it's just uh there's another sword katana rattly daddly it's been like that its whole life that i've had it but this is another one of those just straight up souvenir like wall hangers i guess there's a little bit of a stamping in there 3d design dragon going through the rose bush type thing but this one actually, I mean, you know, balance is pretty bad on it. Balance point is right there. Uh, rattle, rattle daddly here. So this is just a wall hanger, but I, why is it sentimental? It had no edge on it at all. It was the reason why my mom, again, let me buy it when I was young. Uh, I was probably, again, around 12 to 14 year range. You know what? She let me have this, and I, I couldn't have my uh, 
uh, bayonet. Maybe because the bayonet actually has an edge on it. This was straight up. I mean, you couldn't you couldn't cut nothing with this if you wanted to. Uh, so it was di strictly like a display piece. Probably why she let me get it. And uh, it was at one of those resale shops, real cheap type of thing. And uh, but I just remember having fun with this, just pretending like I was a ninja. You know, nothing special. So if I bored you to tears, sorry. But that's about as sentimental as I got as far as blades. That's the best I got. All right, I'll tag a few people. Hopefully they'll do it. Maybe they won't. Uh, I'm just gonna randomly look at my YouTube list here. Ebomi, you've been tagged. Show me. Do a vid. Show uh, three sentimental blades if you got any. I think you do. Uh, Mr. Holster, you've been tagged. Three sentimental blades. All right, and the third one, El Tenda Fabrizio. Show me, three sentimental blades. <laughs> All right, go check out the Fat Man if you haven't already, and uh, tell him the real Cobra Burnout sent you. Boom.